Do you need to be able to focus on your Windows desktop without the distractions of all these pop-ups and notifications and things that compete for your attention? Well, then you can take pretty much any piece of hardware that you have from the past 10 years or so that's made to run Windows 10 and get it running enough so that you can go into settings, update and security, recovery, and then hit reset this PC. And you can either keep your existing files or I'm gonna remove everything, nuke the place from orbit, it's the only way to be sure. And then it will give you a choice between a cloud download, which is good if your Windows install got really messed up or if it's uh, still on your hard drive in good form, you do a local reinstall for speed and in about a half hour, you can be back up and running with something a lot like this and I'll just show you on the next video how to strip out all the distractions. So here we are after a PC reset and you can see Windows 10 already starts out fairly stripped down a lot less than we're used to seeing under Windows 11 so I'll try and do this all in one take. You start out by just unpinning everything from the taskbar that's the first obvious thing. Now you can right click here and start turning stuff off. Search should be hidden, right? Look at how much cleaner that looks already. And then news and interests turn off. That gets rid of that thing over there. And we just go down. Cortana button search show task view button we'll turn that off that got rid of a thing over here and uh, show windows ink workspace button now we we'll turn that off and anything that's basically being shown we turn off and you see these now all default to show and the ones that have drop down menus we've already switched to hidden or off and uh, now we can drop anything we don't like inside of uh, here. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that first. It's more important to get them not showing so that they're not a distraction than it is to uh, actually disable the software. That can always come later. Uh, now there's a couple of things. Uh, we can get rid of this. And uh, now to get rid of the recycle bin, you go into settings. And that's actually under themes. So I believe that is uh, personalization. Let's just type in theme, themes and related settings. And here is your desktop icon settings. And you can see you can just deselect the recycle bin, watch it disappear. All right, so maybe I'll keep this open for a moment because the next things we're going to do are in there as well. But you can already see how simplified things are becoming. We want to turn off the clock and the notifications. Set the time automatically is fine but we don't even want it to show. All right, so let's go to the home button and we're gonna hit, uh, I believe it's this, see, display sound notifications power. defaults to sound. Here's notification and actions. Get notifications and other senders. We turn that off. And uh, we turn off these three checkboxes. Still hasn't removed stuff there. Focus assist. Power and sleep. Battery, storage, tablet, multitasking, projecting, shared experiences. Okay, I guess that's it for uh, that area. But we still need to turn off that clock. Personalization. Background, colors, lock screen, themes, fonts, 
start. Oh, well, here's some interesting ones we haven't even talked about this mess yet. So the start bar. <clears throat> Show the app list. So that gets rid of that thing. Show recently added, we turn that off. Show suggestions, turn that off. Recently opened, we turn that off. All right, we're getting there, right? And uh, that's under start. Let's try the taskbar now. Yeah, I believe there's going to be some that are uh, that you have to drill down in here to see. We already turned off a bunch of those. How do I customize the taskbar? Notification area. Select which icons appear on the taskbar. Ah, they're already turned to off. That's wonderful. Turn system icons on or off. There we go. Oh, look at all this wonderful stuff. The clock. You don't have to go straight down here. It's actually nice to keep some of them on so that you can peek on them when you need them but certainly not the action center. See, look, that got rid of that one there. And we are now basically uh, have exactly what we want with distraction free. I'm gonna turn off a few others that I don't need. We keep volume, network, power, and microphone on. And look at how clean and pristine that is. You think the job is done, but there's a couple more things. We want to just right click and unpin from start everything, everything. Now you can actually uninstall stuff, so you can always check uninstall, but for the sake of time, I am not going to do any of the uninstalls, except shortly uh, OneDrive, because OneDrive is going to sneak itself to turn on, and that's the kind of bloat we really don't want. So after we unpin all of these things from start, I'll turn off OneDrive and we'll call this uh, Windows 10 strip down session uh, complete because it will visually match uh, the exact thing that people have been asking me about. How do you get Windows 10 to look like that? Well, you just saw me do it.